Oil prices jumping last night when news broke that Israel had attacked Iran in retaliation for last weekend's drone and missile strikes, but have come back down over the, just the last few hours. Joining us on that and other commodities to watch, Max Layton, Global Head of Commodities Research at SETI. Max, great to have you with us. We were above 90 on Brent uh, in terms of the initial reaction, now back to 86. Um, what is in this price? Is this price still elevated relative to, you know, a week ago plus? Um, because of potential continued conflict? Certainly, yeah. We think this price uh, reflects uh, the market expecting ongoing tension in the Middle East over the next few months. Um, and obviously some, some catalysts for or some reasons for the market to be concerned include um, President Netanyahu's stated intention to um, have, a, have an operation in Rafa. Uh, and obviously ongoing, you know, conflict in the north of Israel with Hezbollah. So, you know, there's a lot of reason to expect that there will continue to be an elevated risk premium in the oil market, but it's obviously come off by, you know, that risk premium was, you know, upwards of around $15, and it's come off $6 uh, or so over the past week, week and a half. Sure. Um, I do want to get to copper here. We, we have seen copper hit two-year highs just in this session today, Max, and this is an, a metal that you are very optimistic about. Um, there are supply issues, but the demand side of things um, is amazing, especially when you, when you think not just about, you know, uh, build-outs and construction, et cetera, just the, the historic sort of uses of copper, but also this sort of data center overlay and this new economy overlay, which requires copper not just for that data center, but also for the electrification of that data center. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's so many reasons to be excited about the copper market, both in the short run and over the next one to three years. Um, we think we're on a path up to $12,000. Um, next three months, we think we get up to $10,500. And, you know, we're super excited about all of the things you mentioned. Um, we actually think that, you know, certainly, you know, my career in, in commodities research, um, and as an economist over the last 20 years, uh, this is, I, I think, this, you know, we're entering the second secular uh, bull market for copper um, this century. You know, the last time it was all about urbanization and industrialization in China um, around 20 years ago. Uh, now, as you mentioned, so, you know, pretty much all the demand growth is coming from energy transition. You've got a really exciting AI kicker, which, you know, for the first time, um, you've got a demand growth driver for copper over the next few years, and, which is coming from the U.S. You know, the demand growth has been all about China, but this is a very U.S. It's a global story, but it's a U.S.-centric demand story, AI data centers. So. Right. Sorry. Max, 